Today is Climate Day in the LA City Council. Council members O'Farrell, Krikorian, and I thought it was important that the council hear relevant items to highlight our local climate challenges. This is a big day for the City Council on some of our decision making and our very innovative policies that we're moving forward. Unprecedented investment in renewable energy generation and battery storage on city and in city facilities. We've invested $30 million, which represents a, a thousand percent increase in the level of funding we have uh, historically allocated. The city has already taken important steps in investing in the kind of infrastructure that will reduce uh, or at least mitigate the impacts of extreme heat. Increasing our tree canopy, increasing the use of cool roof technology, changing the kinds of materials that we use for paving and resurfacing our streets to reduce heat absorption into the pavement. We already are suffering through record-breaking heat waves. Uh, just a few months ago, we had thermometers in the San Fernando Valley hit 121 degrees. If we don't take more aggressive steps to bring temperatures down, we're going to have a continuing cycle of these sorts of heat waves that are deadly to the people of Los Angeles. In Los Angeles, we can see it. I feel like we're now in the shoes of the Philippines representatives begging for global action as our water supply dries up and our forests burn down. We are in the heart of a terrible drought and one that we expect to be semi-permanent. Um, climate change has made us drier and drier and hotter and hotter. And if we don't take the steps to conserve, we literally could run out of water.